what's up everybody this is going to be your pick a card for this week and this is going to be will they contact me um so this could be you know about any situation it could be romantic it could be friendship um anything so these readings are general they're not personal readings so you know it may or may not resonate with you you know so don't put all of your hope and faith into a general reading the only way that you'll ever know if something is truly for you is by getting a personal reading so i'm going to use a spread that i found on instagram will he or she contact me spread um so i have yes or no cards laid out i will if it's a yes I'm going to continue to look into it. If it's a no, um, we're going to look into why not. Okay, so I haven't pulled all the cards yet. I just wanted to see what we get first. So let's go ahead and get into it. The first card we have is Lodolite. Second card we have is Malachite. Third card we have is Lapis Lazuli. And fourth choice is Candle Quartz. So you may be resonated, um, may be guided to choose more than one if you have more than one person you're asking about. Okay, so I'll give you guys a moment to reflect and meditate and I'll start. You guys can pause if you need more time. All right, for those of you who were resonated or resonated or drawn to Lodolite, which is a meditation stone, it helps with communication with other realms, heightened spiritual energy, gentle strength, facilitates energy shifts, so healing energy may occur. Chakras associated with this stone is heart, throat, third eye, and crown chakra. So as a disclaimer, in case you guys skip the intro, this reading is not a personal reading, so do not put all of your hope and faith into these pick a card readings or any general readings. These are meant to be for entertainment purposes, but of course, as an intuitive, I am using my intuition, but the only way that you'll truly know if a reading is for you is by getting a personal reading. If you guys would like to book me for a personal reading, you guys can check the description box below for the link to my website. Um, if you guys have questions about my readings or my availability, please email me directly to set up a booking date and time. If a time is needed for your reading, please um, email me as well. Okay. So again, these are general energy readings. These are not personal readings. Um, so I have one major arcana card here. If it's an even number, it's a yes that they will contact you. If it's an odd number, then it's a no that they will not contact you. Um, if it's a page, then that means it's a free will decision based off of your free will or their free will, whether or not they will reach out. And we'll go further with tarot to look into the rest of the situation. So let's see what we get. Um, the chariot, which is number seven. So no, this person will not contact you or communicate with you. So let's see why not. I'm going to ask the Most High God to give me three cards, three cards for each position. Okay, you got the three of pentacles. King of Cups. So this could be a water sign person, specifically a Cancer, or you could be a Cancer. Okay. Six of Pentacles. Okay. So why won't this happen? The Three of Pentacles, it could be that this person, um, may have moved on or may have someone else in mind because there could be a third party situation um or you could be with someone else so which you know they're not going to communicate with the chariot card it's like you guys have gone your separate ways you guys are you've gone on different paths um with the chariot card so i feel like with the king of cups why won't this occur um for some of you i feel like 
emotionally they may not feel like there's it's I'm not getting that they don't want to communicate with you but I feel like due to the circumstances they cannot communicate with you with the king of cups um it could also be that there's an influence of someone else involved with the situation if it's not a romantic third party then it's like a friend or family member or co-workers or something that's preventing this person from speaking with you okay um this person is there's something that's holding this person from moving towards you but i feel like you guys have gone your separate ways um this could be an ex or this could be someone that you had a fallen out with like as a friend or something like that I'm not getting that this person has any negative feelings towards you, okay? So the outcome or the potential outcome of this situation is the Six of Pentacles. So I feel you may get something from this person at some point, but I feel like it will be way down the line or when you're not even thinking about this person, you know, there may be some truth that comes out or this person may express what it is that they were feeling or what's going on with them. But as of right now, I'm getting a no, but this person will not communicate with you or not contact you. So take what resonates, group number one. If it does resonate, feel free to like this video, share this channel, or subscribe to the channel if you have yet to. If you guys have a suggestion for the next pick a card reading, please leave it in the description box below. And I will see you guys back next week's pick a card. Much love as always. What's up, Malachite people? This is going to be your pick a card reading, Malachites. So as a disclaimer, in case you guys dismissed the beginning of the video, these readings are general. These are not personal readings. So please do not take these readings for literal, um, you know, take them literally. If you guys do need a personal reading or would like to get a personal reading, I do offer them. You guys can check out my website, which the link will be in my description box below of this video. If you guys happen to purchase a reading, make sure that you guys email me to set up a booking date or time if a time is needed for your reading. Also, if you guys have questions about my readings or my availability, please email me directly as well. If you guys have any suggestions for the next week's pick a card reading, please leave it in the description box below. All right, so let's go ahead and get into this. Let's see, Malachite people. So Malachites are used for protection, visualization, transformation, personal power, unconditional love, enhances imagination, guards against radiation, absorbs negativity and toxins, connection to the earth and device energies, or divic, I guess it says, alleviates cramps. The chakras associated to the Malachite are base, heart, and third eye chakra. Okay, so how I'm doing this is I'm going to see whether or not this person will contact you. If it's an even number, then yes, they more than likely will. If it's an odd number, then it's most likely they will not. If it's a page, then it's based off of one or you, one or both of you's free will choice. Um, or it could be your free will choice, okay? So whatever the answer I get, I'm going to continue with the tarot. And I'm going to pull on why it's a yes or why it's a no. Will this person contact the Malachite group with the world card? number 21 i'm getting a no um so let's see we're gonna clarify this most high god please give me three cards got the page of cups the ace of wands and the magician card so the world card can represent that this is a situation a friendship or a love situation or what have you that um, ended or it could be um, an online situation an online connection of some sort um, so the page of wands so why why isn't this happening with the page of cups I'm sorry page of cups I'm getting that the reason why this is, is not happening is because they could be already in a present relationship. They could be happy in a relationship or this person could just be holding back on their emotions. So maybe in the past, this person had feelings that they did not express to you. But currently right now, um, this person, I feel like their energy or their emotional energy is being placed elsewhere. Um, 
also with the ace of wands i feel like this person you know they're it's like an unpredictable person or this connection it was just whatever the situation was they may be just focused elsewhere their energy is being placed in other places or they're maybe not the most stable individual um or the most reliable when it comes to long-term things maybe they have a short attention span okay especially if this is someone that you talk to online or something because that is the vibe i get from these cards for some of you or this was like an online friendship or um just someone maybe that lives far from you and if you guys don't keep up then they don't keep up with communication so it kind of just fell off um let's see what the potential outcome of this energy is though i feel like with the magician card you guys may have the choice to manifest this if you feel like you know you have the decision whether or not you want to manifest contact with this person because it's possible and i feel like sometimes they think about it but they don't do it they like i said they have a short attention span they don't think too far into things um they could be a pisces as well this person could be a pisces they could also be a gemini or a fire sign person but they do not stay focused in one place but it's up to you potentially whether or not you want to reach out to this person so someone will make a decision whether or not um they want to you know do something about this or just keep it moving basically so that is what i'm getting for you guys again if this reading resonates with you Feel free to like this video, share this channel, and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to check the description box below. Um, if you guys have a suggestion for next week's pick a card, leave it in the description box. All right. Much love. Thank you so much for watching. What's up? my lapis lazuli people this is going to be your pick a card reading so if you guys skip the intro as a reminder as a disclaimer these readings are general they're not personal readings so please do not put all of your hope and faith into a general reading the only way that you'll truly know if something is meant for you is by getting a personal reading so if you guys would like to um book me for a personal reading you guys can check the description box below for the link to my website um, you guys can purchase a reading via my website. Just make sure that you guys email me to set up a booking date. If a time is needed for your reading, also you guys can set up a time um, for your reading. If you guys have questions about my readings or questions about my availability, also email me. If you guys have any suggestions for the next week's pick a card reading, you guys can comment below. All right, so let's go ahead and get into this. So Lapis Lazuli. It opens the third eye, it reveals inner truth, it aids in self-expression, stimulates enlightenment, it helps with contacting spirit guardians, harmonize, harmon, oh my gosh, what am I trying to say? Harmonizes subtle bodies, elevates migraines or alleviates migraines, um, chakras associated as the third eye and the throat chakra okay so if we get an odd number then more than likely no they will not contact you if we get an even number then yes they more than likely will contact you if it's a page then it's a free will choice whether you reach out or not to this person so let's see what we get we have page of pentacles so it's up to you or this person i feel more so that it's up to the viewer whether this person contacts you or not so you may have to reach out but let's Pull some tarot on it especially if you're an earth sign person or you feel divinely guided to reach out to this person three cards spirit please three cards if you take the free will choice when will this happen when will this contact happen queen of cups why will contact occur if the viewer decides to reach out to this other person two of pentacles and what is the potential outcome of this contact the two of wands okay all right so so when will this more than likely happen the queen of cups i feel like it's gonna happen um potentially due to some guidance okay divinely being guided to do so it could be during a water season like say for instance it could happen during 
because we're already we're already out of cancer season so it could be scorpio the next scorpio season or next year during pisces season so it's pretty much i feel more so due to intuitive nudge if you feel divinely guided then that's more than likely when um, this contact is going to happen because I feel like it's up to you to reach out to this person. If you want to hear from them, you're going to have to contact them. If you're saying to yourself, well, that can happen because they blocked me, then maybe this is not for you. But I feel like you might have to reach out to this person. The two of Pentacles, why will it occur? Um, it will occur because I feel like you juggled this or you weighed the pros and the cons of, you know, should I or shouldn't I? Or why? What's the purpose? What's driving me to do this? What is this that I'm getting out of it? Or is this something that will be beneficial for the both of us if I reach out to this person? There is a lot of weighing the pros and the cons about this, especially with the Two of Pentacles as well. So the outcome, I feel like you guys will... Um, Maybe go back and forth in your mind whether you should or you shouldn't. So are you going to make this decision? It's completely up to you. I feel like with these two cards, it can go either way for each group. Some of you guys may decide not to reach out to this person. And some of you may decide that you should reach out to this person, especially if you're being guided to. Okay. If you guys are a water sign person, um, if you guys are an earth sign, maybe specifically a Capricorn or specifically if you guys are a Libra, this could resonate more so with you or the person has these signs. If not, it doesn't mean that it can't be for you. But like I said, these are general. So take what resonates. And if it doesn't resonate at all, then more than likely this message was not for you. OK, so much love as always, you guys feel free to like this video if it resonated. Share the channel, share, subscribe. Um, don't forget to check the description box below. If you guys have a suggestion for next week's pick a card, feel free to leave it in the description box. And I will see y'all back next time. Peace. What's up? They're candle quartz people. If you guys were drawn to the candle quartz, this is your reading. If you guys skipped... The disclaimer, the beginning of this reading, I will have to remind y'all again, these readings are not personal. I'm not tapping into one specific person's energy. So please do not take these readings general or literal, excuse me, don't take them literally or personally. If you guys feel guided to book your own personal reading, because that's the only way that you'll ever know if a message is pertaining to you or not. If you guys would like to book me, my um, website will be in the description box below. You guys can purchase readings via my website. Just be sure to email me to set up a booking date or a time if a time is needed for your reading. You guys can also email me if you have questions about my readings or my availability. All right, so Candle Quartz says, Guardian Angel Stone, spiritual alchemy, sky ring stone, creates group harmony, restores trust, dissipates despair, attracts abundance, and all chakras are associated to this stone. So depending on the answer of this card, um, I'm going to pull some more to clarify why the answer may be yes or why the answer may be no. So if you guys get an even number, the even number says more than likely, yes, this person will contact you. If we get an odd number, then it's no, this person most likely will not contact you. If we get a page, then that means that it's your free will choice to reach out to this person. Okay, so let's see what we get. We have the emperor. So we have a yes. Okay, this is an even number, number four. So let's clarify this. When will this more than likely happen? When will this communication or contact most likely happen? Page of Swords. Why will this contact happen or occur? Why will it happen? The High Priestess. And what is the potential outcome of this communication? Queen of Cups. Okay. All right, so the emperor, this could be um, someone that you hold in a high regard. This could be a father or it could be someone that you look up to. Um, this could be someone that you look at as a divine masculine figure. So with the page, of, and they can also be an Aries as well. Okay, maybe an Aries, maybe an air sign person, maybe a Cancer Pisces person, or even a Scorpio with the Queen of Cups. So when will this happen when will it happen i feel like it's going to happen um 
if not during air season like a gemini libra aquarius season i feel it will happen when this person is stable and grounded within their heart and their mind like they've made it up both in their heart and their mind that they're going to reach out to you so it could be um soon because swords energies and this is also a messenger by the way pages are messengers so it could be soon it could be unexpectedly um why will they contact you with the high priestess i feel like this person they may have something to tell you. They may have kept something hidden from you. Um, they may want to exchange some sort of um, ideas with you. This person may, they may want to get some clarity from you that they feel like something is a mystery to them. Maybe they feel like, you know, I just got to seek for myself. I just got to know for myself. So I feel also their intuition may be driving them to reach out to you. Maybe there's a telepathy, uh, telepathic communication that's happening. One or both of you may be a little bit stronger in this area or a little more intuitive than the other person. But I feel like they're going to reach out because they need to get some clarity about something. Uh, maybe even they have a secret that they want to tell you, perhaps. Okay. So what is the potential outcome? the queen of cups so it could be that the outcome will be perhaps a romantic outcome for some of you it could be working together on something it could be a level of forgiveness um it could be some of you guys already know where this could go or where this could lead but i get that this is healing it may the outcome will lead to some sort of healing it doesn't necessarily mean that you guys will separate or come together either or it's going to be different for each and every one of you you guys all are different but nonetheless i do see healing i do see receptivity i do see love i do see forgiveness so it could be that there's something that needed to be clarified between the both of you okay so that is your reading. If you guys have a suggestion for the next pick a card reading, please leave it in the description. Don't forget to check the description box or in the comment section, sorry, for the suggestion. Um, don't forget to check the description box below. Also, feel free to like this video if it resonates, share it with someone or share the channel. Also, subscribe to the channel and I will see y'all back next time until the next reading. Peace. Much love.